This is Prusa Slicer in more detail. This is Prusa Slicer with a little bit more detail so you can understand what's going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import a file. So I go to import STL. It's an STL file. I'm actually going to pull up something that I modified in Blender earlier. It's this guy. Open. Hopefully there it is. Okay. So you'll notice that it's kind of a strange looking spider monkey, right? And I can move it around with the locator. I can scale it if I want. And you'll notice that if I scale it, let's say, let's say I do that. There we go. Um, and I can modify it in a different direction or I can just, in general, just pull it up as, as, uh, as it. So if I get it too big, you'll notice it goes green. This is the mo maximum that I can get the thing. Okay, so now I sit there and I'm going to move it and center it again here. And then I will also kind of rotate it a little bit so that it's a little bit more straight on the plate. Okay, so this is a very strange thing to try and print. You'll notice that if I try and print it, it's going to start out at the bottom and it's going to work its way up. And it's going to print all these things pretty easily. But then you have this thing with the body here. And you have this long nose. It's like, how is it going to print it from here? It can't. Because if it starts printing here, the filament is just going to drop down onto the plate. Same problem up here. See, these things here, they're just, if the filament tries to start printing here, it's just going to drop down. So I have to have things called supports. Over here, you'll notice it says supports are none. And again, a brim on there because I like having the, the stable, a big uh, stable area on the bottom so it wasn't, won't move around. And so I come in here and I say, okay, supports. What kind of supports do you want? You can do a support on build plate only. If I did that, what will happen is it's going to build a support from here down to the plate. It's going to build a support from here down to the plate. But it's not going to do anything for here. So I come over here and I say, okay everywhere. I can do that. And if I do that, now it's going to build up all these supports. Supports are basically very thin pieces of filament that are easy to break off from your object. This may not be the ultimate, the best way to print this thing, but I'm doing it just so that you can see what happens. Okay. So now I'm going to go to slice and you'll see what it does. It's going to reformat it and it might take a little bit of time for it to build up. There it goes. So there's my original object there. And if you look over here, there's kind of a legend which will tell you what's going on here. When they talk about a perimeter, that's the skin of the object. Okay, so that's what that orange thing is. And then here you see support material. The program knows that this support material, it's going to be kind of flimsy so that it can break off of it at the sections here, just like that. The other thing you'll notice is for some reason, I don't know why, the uh, object has uh, changed in orientation. So I don't like that. I don't like the fact that it's oriented like that. That's probably something I did with rotation. So let's go back and we'll get it back into the slicer. Oh, see what happened? Somehow it didn't get on the plate. I'm going to put it so that it gets onto the plate. That's not right. Let's see what we can do here. It looks like this thing there, and then if I pull it back up, yeah, now it looks like it's on the plate. I still got the supports everywhere. Let's go ahead and slice it again. And it looks better. So now you can see this part here is the brim. These are the supports. This thing is ready to go, as is. I can export it as a G-code.